Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Hello everyone. We are from Group A. We will present about white gloves in sugarcane. Our member is Hizkia Huba with study number 136. Gagas Chandra with study number 138. Rizal Zaka with study number 143. White gloves. Domain is Eukaryota, Kingdom Metazoa, Pilum Arthropoda, Supilum Uniramia, Class Insecta or Docleoptera, Family Scarab by by the genus Lepidiota, species Lepidiota stigma. Scarabides or Coleoptera are the domain group of soil pests associated with sugarcane. The red grub in many crops cause loss to the extent of 14 to 18%. Among the various species of wet grubs, Holodrysia serata or Fabricius has emerged as a case species by causing 13 to 14% loss in sugarcane alone under irrigated ecosystem of Northern. Life cycle sugarcane white grub. A typical white grub life cycle. Egg, hatching grubs feed and develop proxy larva in, in stars. First in star feed on organic matter, second in star feed on roots for four to six weeks, and finally to in star feed on roots for six to seven months, larva. Grubs remain in the soil from March to November, feeding on sugarcane roots. For two, three, or four year life cycle, the third instar group remain in the soil. Pupa. Pupa occur in the soil from August and the pupa place last up to 13 days. Adult, adult mass Adult mass emerge from soil in October to November. They mate and feed in host plant. Gravid female deposit about 30 to 50 eggs in the soil from October to December. Uh, the neck is a tech symptom. The first is the leaves wither and turn yellow, then turn dye and dye. The root of the plant are eaten by the uretra. The base of the stem has scar from being drilled. At the base, at the base of the stem and around the root, there is a uretra. And the last is in heavy attack. The plant is easy to collapse and easy to pull out because the root are eaten by uretra. Losses due to pest attack. The first is in young sugarcane. Plant can cause plant death, so it need replanting. And the second in, in the older plant, it can result in reduced yield or even crop failure. And the last in the sugarcane crop before being cut down, it will cause poor growth condition in the sugarcane crop in the next period. Pest control. Pest control first can use technical cultural pest, namely simultaneous planting, crop rotation with no host plant, land sanitation and deep tillage. And the next is biological control with the fungus metarhizium anisopliae. The next is mechanical control, collecting pests during tillage, catching imago by installing like trap. And the last is chemical control with the application of carbofuran 20 kilo hectare individually at the time of planting. And then the next is white grubs monitoring. Sampling technique for monitoring white grub populations include counting the grubs themselves or formulating index, index of population intensity based on plant damage. Assessment of white grub population size through direct counts can be made by trapping grubs in holes in the soil of one meter persegi and 0.5 meter deep. White grub population size may also be assessed through estimating percentage levels of damage. An estimation of damage is particularly useful in the early vegetative stage when curative such, such a, as the insecticide application are possible. It occurs at a later stage 
when actions are not possible, assessment of damage or loss should still be made for use in subsequent growing seasons. In particular, this information is useful in evaluating the possible employment of long-term preventive measures such as crop rotation. Besides that, the use of light trap provides a cost-effective way of monitoring adult populations of the scarabidae uh, species which fly by night. Using the method of collecting specimen for identification and taxonomic studies. And then also, there is a step for monitoring, monitor early, monitoring for white grubs can be done anytime the grubs with one year life cycle are close to the surface. They are actively feeding on the roots during this period and are easily visible. To do this, the soil located just below the touch interface must be examined. The white grub eggs will be half hatched and very young early first in star larvae will be present. And then next, the rollback test. The easiest way to monitor for grubs is to examine the top portion of the soil just under the touch interface. A knife can be used to cut back the turf. A good method for detecting white grub is to cut three sides of a square in the turf about 12 inches and gently pull and roll back. And then the last threshold limits, a number of variables can influence the severity of damage from white grubs. Well-maintained, irrigate and healthy turf can generally with, with stand a higher population of white grubs before damage become a problem. Five to white, five to 10 white grubs per square foot is generally considered the threshold for curative treatment. White grub populations less than this shall be monitored closely until a control decision is required. Thank you. That's enough for group eight. If any question, please put it down on spider group discussion. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.